Hi and welcome to this week's Something for the Weekend. I'm Tony Sales Manager at Martin Lynch & Sons. Now if you've ordered from us recently, you may have received one of these lovely flyers notifying you about our open day on the 29th of November. Now, if you've not been to one of our open days before, what can you expect? Well, obviously we've got all of the products out as usual in the showroom. All of the team will be here on the day and we will feed you as well. Yes, you'll receive a lovely bacon roll in the morning and also a little burger, teas, coffees, biscuits, which I can vouch for are very, very nice as usual. Plus we've got the main manufacturers here as well. So those really hard questions that you've wanted to ask the guys at Icom, you can come down to the store and ask them in the flesh. Anyway, let's get on with this week's video. And this week I've chosen five items that are under 500 pounds from our used equipment range. And we're gonna be kicking it off with something for a shortwave listener. So Henry, if you'd like to look down here, we have the lovely ELAD FDM Duo R, Italian made and produced. Great thing with this, full coverage on HF and multiple antenna sockets as well, which is great when you're doing your receiving. So we've got obviously the two main ports here. We've got a third port here as well, SMA connection, which means you can run maybe a, one of our loop on the ground antennas and it's very easy to do. Uh, connectivity here as well via USB, which means you can download the ELAD FDM Duo software as well. And you get a lot more features accessible when you download the software. So it is you know, something that I'd recommend that you do. Okay, whilst we're on there, now it's not under 500 pounds before you go rushing for your wallets. However, just in case you do like to transmit, we do have a full range of the transceiver versions of the ELAD FTM Duo in stock as well. Prices ranging from about 600 pounds upwards, so just a little bit over that budget. This one is the limited edition Ferrari Red version as designed by Martin. And there's the rear for you as well, in case you're interested. So reference in and out, two antenna sockets on the back, obviously your mic input. And again, we've got the USB control. So if you run, want to run FT8 QRP, then that's a good way to do it. Okay, moving across from that, we're gonna to go to Zygu's X6100, which is here. Nice little QRP transceiver as well, covers HF in six meters. <laughs> Good thing with this radio, it's got a lovely full color display and scope. Built in ATU as standard, it's a very good ATU on these as well. So if you're running long wires, then you know, you're not gonna have too many issues. And a very clever thing with this as well, is you can pop a telescopic whip on the top, onto the BNC connection here. And if you look here, we have a PTT button. So once this is fully charged, you can maybe get a 20 meter telescopic whip, pop it up and use it like this as a handheld QRP transceiver for the shortwave bands. Now, there is another little mod you can do with this. Um, obviously, it's not a Zygu mod, but there is some third-party software that you can run by popping an SD card in and kind of piggybacking onto the software that's already on here. The good thing if you do do that is you can actually run FT8 direct from the X6100. So all of your contacts will come up on the screen now, bear in mind, it's not a touch screen, so you'll have to make some changes with the buttons or with this selector knob here. But as I said, you can run full FTA, and I've done it many, many times. It does log it onto the SD card as well, and it's a great, great way of going out portable and still staying in contact. Okay, going back to the listeners there, we have ICOM's ICR15, which is a current model, as you know. Great for receiving anything above 75 megs up into the gigahertz, beautiful condition, all fully boxed as well. And you're gonna be saving near enough 100 pounds by buying a used one of this. USB connectivity as well, so if you want to program it, it's gonna be very easy to do. Okay, now Henry, we're gonna go that way and we're gonna do the last of the two items. Now this item, you're not gonna be able to use it as a transceiver, but it will connect to your transceiver. And that is this little Zygu XPA125 100 watts linear amplifier. Now you can use this with the 6100 that I showed there, or you can use it with an ICOM 705. Yes, you can get a lead that will connect to it and it will trigger the PTT from the 705. And the good thing with this, built-in tuner. 
So you can get that all in one solution for your QRP ICOM 705. Have this at home, come home, plug it in and use the 100 watts. So you're not kind of missing anything if you didn't buy an FTX one. Right, moving across, one more thing under 500 pounds that really did catch my eye. And that is this Vertex VX1700. Now you're probably all going, what is that, Tony? Well, this is a HF transceiver. It's a commercial HF transceiver and it's come in and at under 500 pounds, I think this is a great, great buy. Very simple to use if you're looking for a very simple radio. And I'm gonna pull that out actually, Henry, so we can have a look on the back. Construction wise, It is very well built, very solid, very simple. As I said, your four pin DC lead, you've got your antenna socket on the back. You can use the dim plug there if need be for data as well. Now, no built-in tuner with this. However, at under 500 pounds, that is gonna last you forever. That really is gonna last you forever. Further details are available on the website. Lovely forward facing speaker. But I don't think that's going to be there for very long, especially if you want to pop it into a van. OK, moving across, Henry. Yes, I know I said five. I know I said five, but I know you like to have a little look around when we do the use videos. So moving across to another linear amplifier, SPE 2K FA. So this lovely two kilowatts, fully automatic linear amplifier, built in tuner, you can run these remotely quite easily with the SPE software. This one comes with the carry case as well. And at a price of 3999, you are saving over a thousand pounds on the price of a new one. Again, being very well looked after, beautiful condition. I would have thought probably low hours as well because it's it does just look remarkable. But bear that in mind. If you don't like a solid state linear, then we have the ACOM 2100, which again covers HF, it will do six meters as well. This comes in the original box, so we can ship this quite easily. It's that very simple ACOM control method of your load and tune on here and watch out for the forward and reflective power on the meter when it comes through. And nice, simple, chunky band changing. Again, full details regarding this is online with regards to the power output, so check our used equipment listings. Okay, Henry, that was too big. The 2K was far too large. Acom 500S, which will give you 500 watts output. Lovely little HF linear, which also covers four meters as well as standard. Now, no ATU with this one, but lovely small footprint. We could probably have used this actually when we did that video, when we did the shack within a meter square. Again, nice color display on here, all fully automatic, and it's a solid state linear. Uh, original box as well, so we can ship. Okay, FT991As. If you've been watching the, web, <laughs> the website recently, you'll probably notice I've gone a little bit crazy with FT991As and bought quite a few of those in, which if you remember the 7300s is a great, great thing because you'll get it for a lot cheaper. So I've dropped the price of Yaesu FT991A used down to 849 pounds. That's a lot of radio, a lot of radio for the money. Uh, if you don't know about the 991A, it covers HF, it covers six meters. It's also gonna cover two meters and 70 SEMs as well, all multi-mode. So when we have the activity um, contest during the week, you can pop on there and do a bit of SSB on two meters. And conditions have been great on two meters lately as well. Okay, Henry, gonna go over to the middle section here. You've hopefully watched today's video with regards to Flex's new radio, the Aurora. And we are obviously taking pre-orders on that, but you have to be quick because I think we've nearly fulfilled our allocation on the first shipment. But if you don't wanna go all the way to the Aurora for the 500 watts, you can look at 100 watt Flex. We have the 8400M here, for example, which is a current model in the flex range. Again, comes with the original box. We've got the lovely full color screen here. It's basically like having a Maestro on the front of your flex box. And again, another big saving. This one at 3195. And it's gonna be no different to a brand new one, apart from it's been a little bit loved beforehand. Okay, going along this way, Henry, 
going to Kenwood's TS590SG. Now I'm going to give you a few moments, see if you can spot the difference with this one. Hopefully that's long enough for you. This is the 70th anniversary edition of Kenwood's TS590SG, which was released a while back at a very, very high price. Now, I don't have the original box for this one, unfortunately. It is in very nice condition. There is a slight mark just on here, as you can see. Zoom in on that. However, that is adjusted with the price. So the last one of these we sold at 14.99, so nearly 1,500 pounds. Comes with the lovely gold trim on here as well. This one we've got at 11.99. However, if you make me an offer, because obviously it's got this little mark on here, uh, speak to any of the guys, say, Tony said on the video, you can make an offer, then I'll be very, very happy to do that. Okay, moving across. We've mentioned the Flex already. And you went and bought that Flex as well. What do you need to go with it? One of these. We've got in a Flex Power Genius XL SO2R, which is pre-loved. Now this unit here, has just been serviced by Flex and Forsca 3 Alpha. So you'll see here, it's got the nice QC Past sticker on there. And this is at 4999. So obviously a little bit over my uh, things that are under 500 pounds, but that is an absolute bargain. And if you've got a Flex radio, what you want is that fully integrated Flex system, then one kilowatt output on the Power Genius. Okay, coming across Henry, same with Flex. We've got a Maestro B. So if you want to complete that setup at 11.99, again, in beautiful condition. I won't say that this is still on there from the start because I think we know that this obviously came off at one point. However, they have kept it in a beautiful condition and this is how the customer sent it into us. So obviously it was his pride and joy for a bit. Okay, one last item, Henry, before we go. And it's going to be the 6700 from Flex at 3249. Now I'm going to do a very, very special price on this Flex 6700. Now this was the flagship of the Flex range. This is the one that went out to commercial orders. Eight slices. So yes, you can run FT8 if you wish on many bands near enough the same time, near enough the same time, but you can monitor eight different bands if you want, and then do contacts as they come up. So an amazing piece of kit, full diversity on there as well. Um, three, two, four, nine for one week only, and it is gonna be one week only, it's going to be two, triple, nine. So you can buy this Flex flagship radio for under 3,000 pounds. I must be crazy. I must be crazy. Anyway, that's it for this week. I'm going to leave it there. Quick reminder as well, we are still looking for sales staff. So just email in sales at hamradio.co.uk. If you're interested, come and join the team. Um, what else is there to say apart from get that date for the open day in your diary and we'll see you very, very soon. Take care. 73.